guys, we're going to dive right on in. These are the top five books that are in my library that I think all women should have in their library too. It helps build confidence and it helps, you know, achieve some of your goals, let go of your fears. So I'm going to get right into it. So the first book I have is Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. Yes, this book right here <laughs> a lot of celebrities have read this book believe it or not um this book is by napoleon Hill. i'm pretty sure everybody know i've heard of him um if you're in high school you were kind of probably read some of his books um especially thank you grow rich and we probably didn't even know it so um this book is actually really a good book it actually teaches you how to practice law of attraction so what you believe in, you put it out in the universe and basically it comes back to you and voila, you're a millionaire, right? So Thank and Grow Rich is actually a very good book. Now, the uh, this is not the original copy. This is actually a broken down version of it because the original copy is a lot more thicker than this one. And baby, I need a more shorter version. <laughs> so I can get right to the point, okay, of being rich. <laughs> so this is also a very good book to have. Second book is probably like one of my favorite books. It's Just Effin Do It. Yes, just, I'm not going to cuss, Just Effin Do It. Um, And it's by Nora Hibbert, Herbert, or whatever. Um, if I'm not saying it right, sorry. Um, She's actually from the UK, so, but she speaks my lingo so it was actually a very good book to read same thing as think and grow rich it teaches you how to have faith believe it write it down receive it put it in the universe so it can come back to you 10 times fold so yes and she talks about her struggles in life as we do as women we go through um struggles trying to just get to the next point so this is actually was a good book and it makes you laugh too because if you like me you like a little sense of humor this is actually a good book so again just effing do it so don't think about it just do it the third book i'm gonna get into the third and the fourth book is actually by the same arthur the, first, the fourth book is Successful Women Think Different by Valerie Burton. It's actually a good book. And I actually didn't actually read it, the pages. I actually listened to this on audio going to work every morning. And it actually turned out very helpful to me. Um, so, and this book was actually given to me by my stepmom. She actually gave me this book. And I actually been having this book for quite some time. But I never really picked it up. I tried to pick it up and read it back then. Um, but when I first got to the first page, I was like, uh, this is not very interesting. So, <laughs> and I'm just being honest, okay? But as I listened to it on audio, it actually helped me think differently as a woman. As a woman that I'm trying to be successful and, you know, navigating myself through the business world, navigating myself through um, my contracts that I be signing, it helps me think differently, you know? So, and then the fourth book that is by her, I think I said this was the fourth one, but this is the third one, sorry. So <laughs> the fourth book is Successful Women Speak Differently, same Arthur, Valerie Burton. It actually tells you how to speak differently when you're in a workplace and when you're speaking about your life and stuff. So the third one is successful, successful women think differently. So thinking, the thinking process of getting to the next level as a woman. And the fourth book is successful women speak differently. So actually speaking what you're thinking, very helpful, trust me. And if you don't have time to read it, it's on audio, read a little bit. I mean, listen to a little bit while you're going to work. That's what I did. And it actually really helped. Instead of listening to the radio, your favorite artist, rapper, whatever, you know, instead of listening to that in the morning, listen to something positive, you know, listen to audiobooks. 
it'll help change your day. Trust me, trust me. So the last fifth book, and it's fifth books, more than one, mm -hmm. is get yourself some daily devotion. I'm sorry. I'm such a spiritual person. Um, so get yourself some daily devotion, something that you can do daily to work towards your goals or to just get your spirit and your mind and your body on one accord. So I have quite a few of daily devotions. Don't ask, And this is not all of it. And don't ask me why I have so many daily devotions. I just do. <laughs> and so a couple of them I have, and they probably are good for each and every reason. So the first ones I have is too blessed to be stressed daily devotion. I have 365 days daily devotion. I have whatever is lovely daily devotion, prayers and promises for women, spending a little time with God. And yes, I have read every single one of these devotions. I actually do. You're actually only supposed to do like one a day, but me, I'm like one or two, three day, one or two daily devotions. I kind of need them to help me get through my days and get through my mornings and stuff like that. So I have more than more than one and I read more than one page of my daily devotion. So get you a couple of daily devotions. Reading is actually very good for you. I, this summer, had decided to not take part, not participate, sorry, not participate so much in social media and try to pick a pick up a book. So I took my little self down on to Bronze and Nobles and got me a couple of books and said I was going to read this summer. I was going to read. And it actually has been going quite well. I've been taking my butt back to the Barnes and Nobles and taking me up some books. So um, a couple of books off my head, you know, just for relationship, the five love languages. That's really good. I heard. Um... Crazy Faith by Michael Todd. That's really good. Um, trying to think of some books off the top of my head, but can't really think right now. But I gave you my top five that was in my library that actually have been helping me to think and speak successfully. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like and subscribe the video. I'll be back with another video with some more good topics. What, let me know if you guys like this. Comment below. Remember women, ladies, men too. You can do all things. You can do all things.